Welcome Warriors, I'm Blake the Airsoft Warrior, and you're watching Airsoft Warrior TV. Today we're going to be talking about my chest harness by Lancer Tactical. This is the Lancer Tactical chest harness with hydration pack, model CA-307A. So let's look at some of the features this chest harness has. It's going to come with two utility pouches, which have a click release buckle velcro to keep the flap in place, an elastic band at the top to keep everything inside, and a mesh at the bottom. It's also going to come with three double stacked M4 pouches, which as you can see, hold two mags quite nicely. These are all connected together, so you're going to have to move them in one piece, you can't space them out around the rig. You're also going to have a detachable admin pouch, plenty of velcro on the front for all your cool patches and two pouches inside to allow you to hold whatever you need. Things I've added on to the chest harness include a Condor dump pouch, an Elite Force kill rag, a Rothko pistol mag pouch uh, that came with a Molly pistol holster that I got, um, and of course some patches. Now let's go ahead and flip it over and check out the back. Okay, so now we're looking at the back of this chest harness and you'll notice it has this big pouch in the center. I'm assuming that's probably for plates that you could buy separately, and it also has movable um, belt, which I, which goes to the admin pouch in the front. You simply detach these two buckles, and the admin pouch comes out from the front, like so, and can fold in and under. And I found out that if you take out this pouch, this whole flap actually folds very nicely right into here, and it allows you to have a little bit of a lower um, profile uh, chest harness if that's what you want to go with, something a little more minimalist. Um, also on the back you're going to get the hydration pouch of course. And the hydration pouch can attach to any of the other Molly accessories that you have. Let's say you had another plate carrier, you could slap this right on there if you wanted to. But the way it attaches to this system is you have your waist belt, which is quick to attach as you can notice. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to unthread the belt, uh, the belt buckle on one side, and you're going to take this and it has a sleeve on the back down at the bottom. You're going to slide that sleeve through the waist belt and then you're going to reattach the buckle and it'll stay on quite nicely. And then on the top you're going to take these quick release buckles right here which have these small uh, snaps and you're going to attach them on the front of your plate carrier of your or rather your uh, chest harness. And you're going to attach those buckles in to between these two elastic straps you're going to attach that in there right there. And then these can be adjusted for height. Now let's talk quickly about fitment, how you're going to fit this, because this is something I had a lot of trouble with um, when I first got the vest. I didn't really know what I was doing, didn't come with any instructions. So I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of how you can fit this to your body type. Uh, first thing, of course, is the quick detach waist belt. This can be adjusted. Um, you'll notice that with the extra band, I just went ahead and wrapped some electrical tape around that to keep that from flopping all over the place. That'll simply attach in, adjust that to your waist, and you're good to go. For the shoulders, you're going to have these quick detached buckles right here that are going to connect directly to the shoulder straps. Those quick detached buckles just connect in like so. But then the one thing that I was really puzzled by, and it took me quite a while to actually figure out how this worked was this elastic band that came included with the kit. And I finally realized, wait a minute, this probably attaches to make it into an H harness, which as a matter of fact it does. So what you do is on the shoulder straps you're going to have these loops. And just go ahead and take this and depending on your height you're going to adjust it either up and down. I have it third loop from the front and I am six foot three, and it works just fine. And what you're going to do is just run your Velcro strap through, fold in like so, and you got an H harness, which is very nice. Um, I find it's a lot more comfortable and it's a lot easier to get the um, chest harness on and off. But if you wanted to go ahead and set it up without the uh, H harness, all you have to do is simply take these and thread them through it's something like this and you would have an H harness then, as you can see. Now one of the things I did have trouble with when I got this chest rig um, was the hydro pouch. Um, actually, when I put this on and 
I have about a size 30, 34, 36 waist. Um, and the problem is, is if you have this on here, it tends to, you, you can't really tighten it down as far as I would like to. Um, I found that it's tight enough for me, but uh, if you're skinnier than that and you have the hydro pouch on, it just, it, it doesn't quite work as well. Uh, you may have to be a little creative about how you tighten it down. So before I finish discussing the features of this chest harness, I wanted to talk a little bit more about some of the more in-depth specs of this uh, rig. So let's go ahead and take a look at the hydration pouch right here. It has seven molly rows by six. You have a snap release at the top, velcro strip to keep it in place, and then you're also going to have two more snaps inside on either side, and then also hooks to hook your hydration bladder so it stays upright. And the inside is coated in what feels like some insulating foam, and then also a waterproof liner. Looking quickly at the harness itself, you're going to have three rows of 16 uh, molly slots. You're going to have another top row of 14 molly slots right here, and then you're going to have a row of six molly loops here, and then you're going to have two molly loops on each of the uh, shoulder straps. You're going to have a slot for plates right behind your admin pouch, and you're also going to have if I can get the Velcro out. You're also going to have a slot for plates inside of the chest rig itself. So my overall impression of the Lancer Tactical chest harness is very, very good. Durability is amazing. I've put this thing through tons of punishment, lots of CQB games, ran it over rocks, all sorts of stuff, and it's holding up quite nicely. Um, I love the Molly. That's a really, really great feature. I didn't quite understand how amazing it would be until I actually got it, and I was like, wow, this is this is incredible. So the ability to move around things, change the system to meet your mission is a great feature. If you've never had a Molly vest um, and you're looking for something in the budget range, something that's going to be have everything you need right out of the box, go ahead and do yourself a favor. Take a look at the Lancer Tactical Chest Harness, model number CA307A. And I had a question for you guys in the Airsoft Warrior community. Inside the vest are these snaps. And I'm still not sure what they're used for. So if you know, leave a comment below um, and let me know so everyone else can know. Which would be great, you know. Hey, until next time, guys. I'm Blake the Airsoft Warrior, and thank you for watching Airsoft Warrior TV.